Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create submenus within main menu items like this. So you can run commands in this manner to replace hotkeys if you have too many hotkeys. If you are interested in this topic, then please continue watching. Hi guys, before we start the tutorial, I'm just going to type out the script first. Alright, so the script is ready. If I go ahead and run this script and then go shift button and right right mouse click, I'll get the menu like that. And then notice how for the first two items in the menu, there is a right arrow at the end showing that there are sub menu items like this and this one as well. So if I just go ahead and take a screenshot of what we have here, so I can explain to you what is happening. Now, so the first thing that we have over here is the menu. And then the the little window on the right is the sub-menu. I, I call this my main menu. So you can see that over here, my main menu is created. And the first item is open folder. Open folder. Now, I've given my first item uh, a label of menu handler and that menu handler is down here and it does nothing because by hovering or clicking this open folder main menu item I don't want it to do anything not that it's going to do anything when there is a sub menu attached to the main menu item even though um, there is a label attached to it that would do something I believe you can try it out um, to see if what, I'm, what I said just now is wrong. Um, but basically, um, this does nothing except for expanding into the submenu. Now, on to creating the submenu is the line number four, where it says menu, my submenu one. And it's my submenu one because there's going to be another submenu for run program. My submenu one, add and desktop folder. So the first time, so first item in the in the submenu one is desktop folder, and then I've given it a label of submenu one label, and then I've created the second submenu item within my submenu one, which is downloads folder, and then also have given it a label of submenu one label. Now, once you click on these items, what's going to happen is it's going to go to this label and run an if statement whereby uh, if the item position is one meaning this one this one so desktop folder then open up desktop else if item position is two then open up this folder which is the which is the downloads folder and then this step is important and it's important because this is the step that attaches my submenu one right here using the last argument here to the open folder menu item in my main menu don't forget this column when you provide for the name of the submenu when you attach the submenu to a menu item now onto the second uh, main menu item 
which is run program and again I'm gonna give it the menu handler label for this because I don't want it to do anything um, when it runs down here and then I'm going to go ahead and create another menu that is named my sub menu 2 edit and the first item within my sub menu 2 is going to be calculator you just run the script so calculator and then the next one is Chrome so calculator gets added first and then the and, and Chrome gets added next and I've given it the label sub menu 2 label for each of the items within the sub menu 2 and sub menu 2 label is going to run an if statement whereby if the item position is 1 it's going to open up the calculator um, if the item position is 2 it's going to open up the Chrome app right and then finally I've got the last two main menu items which aren't part which aren't going to open up any sub menu but there are these are uh, plain vanilla uh, command lines which would run this label down here so basically the syntax is the same it's going I'm going to add to my main menu turn off moni turn monitor off menu item which runs the main menu label and then the second one is mute unmute volume main menu label now if you go down to main menu label and if the position of the item is number three and this time it's not number one notice how it's number three and that's because you start from the first one open folder is the first one and then run program is the second one and the third one is turn monitor off and the third one is what we're looking at and therefore if this menu item position is 3 send this message which turns the monitor off and then the fourth one if this menu item position is 4 then send the volume mute button which will toggle the mute function uh, for the volume so if you have the volume already muted then it's going, going to turn off the mute now that's pretty much it for explaining the script all right so let me just close out of these now I'll just quickly go through each of the items so if I go shift key down and go right click uh, on the mouse then I'll get the menu showing up and open folder desktop folder will open up desktop folder like that and then open folder downloads folder will open up downloads folder like that and then run program calculator opens up calculator run program chrome it opens up chrome and then turn monitor off if i press that it's going to turn my monitor off but obviously you can't see that in this recording that is and then mute unmute volume will mute first if your volume is not muted and if I do it again then it's going to unmute my volume uh, that's pretty much it and I'm going to be saving this script in my website so just go to um, juho j-u-h-o dash lee.com and go to archive go to auto haki from archive and then look for the um, item in the drop down list that matches my uh, tutorial name in this video. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.